third place Lamasat and fifth place Red Sea on Sunday shared points after a two draw in the Palamad Futsal League Week 21 match. Modern Sinkala gives us a report. The Futsal Elite Division 1 League entered Week 21 at the weekend, producing some nerve breaking action at the two futsal pitches in the showgrounds in Lusaka. Among the fixtures, which were the final league games before the playoffs, Lamasat, who was standing on third position on the log, tussled with fifth place Red Sea in an entertaining and fast paced match. Lamasat were the favourites to win based on the league standings, and on top of it, featured Zanako Football Club and Zambia defender Faxon Kapumbu. However, the match was tougher than expected as it ended 1 1 at half time. In the second half, Lamasat played 2-1 and it looked like it was going to end that way, but Red Sea made a last-minute comeback to end the match 2-2. Lamasat coach Brian Kusanama is disappointed that his players lost concentration in the last moments of the game. Uh, I think it was a good game. Uh, we lost concentration in the last seconds of the game, but that's how, that's how the game goes. But otherwise, it was a fair game. Red Sea coach Afam Petros and captain Andrew Chayavala are excited about the last minute comeback, adding that it has given them confidence to go into the playoffs. This match is tough. We had a game last week, so we came ready to build. We play well, but unfortunately, we draw 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the result? Yeah, but my aim to win was very important the point for me. Uh, well, it was a very tough game because last week we played them and uh, we lost. But this was a this was a game that we were supposed to balance up with our points. So now we're remaining with the playoffs, but we are looking forward to getting the cup because we know this is not the last the game and uh, this is just the beginning because the playoffs are going to have much more competition than we had today. Chicolo Italiano are the current league leaders, but the playoffs, which will determine the 2014 Division One futsal winners, will be played on 27th April 2014 while the bottom four teams will be relegated to Division 2. Modern Sinkala ZNBC Sport, Lusaka. I am now joined by our sports reporter, Modern Sinkala, to give us the other side of the futsal story that we have just run. Hi, Modern, and welcome. Thank you very much, Benzo. So can you tell us uh, what is the difference between futsal and football? Interesting, you know, food sodest as, as far back as uh, 1930 when it was started in Brazil and uh, Uruguay. It's a five-a-side uh, sport which also has a smaller pitch as compared to football. Well, there are similarities between futsal and football, but uh, because it was you know, derived from uh, football, it was in 1985 actually when the second world championships were held uh, in uh, Spain. Um, that's when I you know the name futsal was uh, arrived at because it, then it was called you know football sala. So they got uh, away uh, three letters F U T from uh, football, the Spanish word, and then they got T S A L from sala, and then it was called uh, futsal. So from then it has been played, and uh, it's, more, it's, it's so common in Brazil. And most of the players you see playing football in Brazil have played futsal before. All right, quite interesting. So does the sport have a proper structure for development? Well, if you talk about Zambia, I would say yes. It was introduced somewhere there in 2002, 2003, and since then it has been uh, growing uh, from strength to strength. Talking about, uh, you know, uh, Chisambalungu has passed through Futsal. Talking about uh, Makundika Sakala, who was playing for Zanaku, has also passed through Futsal. So it, it has been uh, going strong and strong. And talking about the national team as well, it has participated at three major tournaments. In 2008, it participated at the African Nations Championship, and, you know, it was the first time but at least they came back with three points, beating the likes of Angola, the strong teams, by eight goes to four. Then uh, in 2010 and 2011, the team also participated at the Grand Prix in uh, Brazil. And you know, all those teams like Brazil, Italy, all those teams were there. So it, uh, I would say structures are there led by, you know, uh, you know uh, being led by the Futsal Committee, chaired by, you know, Adriano Massidi and, uh, and um, um, uh, Mauro Sana of Italy. Okay, so how has the sport been received in Zambia? I would say very overwhelming. You know, every time I go to the futsal arena, uh, it, 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 you know, the, the, at least it has gathered a lot of people. As at now, as at now, I can say 
there are about 22 teams in uh, the, the Division 1, which is the Elite League, and then about 27 teams in uh, Division 2, which is uh, the, the second tier. A lot of people go there, and uh, it has produced a number of people. Right now, I can say, even national soccer team coach Patrice Bumeo uh, plays in one of the teams. So it has been received very well, and hope uh, the team can qualify to the World Cup. You know, in 2012, they missed by a whisker when they lost to Mozambique. So hope they, they can qualify for the 2016 World Cup. We hope so, Modern. Thank you very much for making an appearance. That was Modern Sinkala, our sports reporter, who brought us a report on foot so that we featured earlier on our program. Moving on.